hey welcome guys welcome back to the youtube channel so in this short videos i just want to sh quickly show you how to customize your chart so that you know where the day starts and end on hourly time frame it's very important to easily see where the day is starting and ending on an hourly time frame okay so today is a sunday so we'll use them um, btc because btc doesn't stop trading so this is a chart of um, bitcoin versus us dollar so how do we customize it so that i see where the chart ends and uh, where the day starts and ends on the hourly time frame so this is what we do you just um, right click on the chart now when you right click on the chart it will show up like this you go to properties another way to do it is just press f8 so when the f8 when you it comes up like this what you do is this you select period separators so once you select period now let me just show you what happened there before i selected it watch this place before i selected it um there was nothing there when i select it you'll see that something shows up there this line okay so it's gone it's back so that line that shows is what will show you so let's get back to the chart let me now click ok i've selected it so you can see a line appears here now where this line becomes important is this daily chart so that doesn't really matter when you take the chart to one hour time frame then what i'm talking about becomes really important then let me zoom out so you can see so now you can see that this line appears here it's just a little bit thicker than the other ones and this shows the line the place where the daily where the day started on the hourly time frame so you can see this is another one of it yeah and this shows also where the day started on the hourly time frame of yesterday and you can see another one here just that on that when the day started there was a spike up so it doesn't show up but you can see it shows down so that way you can know exactly where the day started and you can know that okay this is how the day behaved so far on the hourly time frame you can just easily see it for example if you look at this day you can see that yesterday was basically just flat for the btc the price literally didn't go up or down it was just sideways throughout on friday um, when the day started it spiked up it came down came down but at the end of the day just towards the end of the day just went flat you know let's look um, back a little bit at some uh, at one more day you can see on thursday it started around here you can see the thick line there and on that day it's um most of the day it was just going down but towards the evening just almost before the new day started this there was a spike that covered up all the uh, fall that he had the previous day that he fell that day to about 18,000 um, but towards the end of the day just spiked up and covered all the losses he had that day you know and ended just about the same level where it started you know so that's it it just gives you an idea of what happened that day and of course um, if you are trading on that day that currency on that day what that means is that you can actually use it to your advantage on that very day so that's the importance of of it hmm. let me see if i have it that set up here on euro usd okay so i do have euro usd set up here so you can see that it just for this day it came down ended up at the same level for this day it came down most of the day and ended lower for this day it came down most of the day you know so if you're trading you can just see okay this is where it opened this is where the trading is so this is the importance of it so i hope this one this uh, tr um, video gave you value now just to throw in one more thing let me just give you a little bonus even though i don't want to go too much on that um that same um properties when you right click f8 and go there you can actually use that same section when you go to colors to actually change the color of your candlestick so this is where you actually do that so uh, for for this case you can see the bull candle the color is black i mean for the ones that the viewers are buying the color is black while for the beer candle i set it as 
so the pills that are selling i set it as white so now some people may change this and say okay for the beer candle i want it to be red hmm? then for the um, bullish candle the ones that is buying i want it to be green others may say okay instead of green let me use them um, blue so you can see that as i'm changing it is changing here so once i click ok you can see it has adjusted in this side so that's how you edit the colors of your candle still in the same section but you just go to colors so i hope this, van this video has given you value please like and subscribe the to the channel and then share the video it does so much for us thank you for watching see you in the next video Bye.